What's up everybody, welcome to Honey Hole Angling. Today I have a fly tying quick tip for you. It's how to make these little crab legs to use on your crab flies. And so I'm gonna show y'all how to make them. They're real easy. The first thing I do is I start with a half foot section of ultra chenille. This is the medium size. If you want larger legs, you can use the large. If you want smaller legs, you can use the small. It's pretty straightforward. But I cut a foot length and then I cut that in half. And this section will make me one set of legs like this. So what you're gonna do to start is you're going to fold it in half and you're gonna tie a knot in one end. And the trick to this is to tie the knot, make it a big knot so you have plenty of room to work with. You're just gonna do a simple overhand knot. You're gonna take it through and then grab it. And then as it's working, the knot is working down, you just kinda wanna slide it so that way you're gap right there is not very big. So I'm just gonna work it down as I tighten it down, there we go. And then when I get to about there, I'm going to tighten it down as tight as I can, just like that. So you have a knot in one side. Then I'm gonna flip it over to the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make a big loop. I'm gonna take both ends through You have to work with a little bit. One of these is longer than the other. If I can get it. One's through. Now let me get the other through. Okay, both are through. So I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna pull it, and then same thing here. I'm gonna work that knot so I have some room to work with. Perfect. So I have both of those tight. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors, I'm gonna cut the loop open, and I'm gonna cut the claws as an angle because I want one claw to be larger than the other. So I'm cutting those at an angle, just like that. I'm gonna take the other side, and I'm gonna get those to the length that I want. I'm gonna cut them at an angle, just like that. Next thing I do is I have this little piece of foam here that I used to use markers on. So I'm gonna take the marker that I want. In this case, I'm gonna do red. And I'm going to color one side, flip it over, color the other side. And then do the same thing over here. Color one side, and then color the other side. And I finish these off. The ultra chenille is will f r unravel on you. It's not that strong. So we have to burn the ends. And so you guys are gonna take a lighter and you're gonna burn the ends of the crab claws. Now, be careful, this stuff is flammable. So you have to, my wife gave me a weird look as I said that. This stuff is flammable. She wasn't aware of that, but it is flammable. And so you're not gonna hold it in the flame. You're going to put it in and take it out. So let me show you guys, let me demonstrate for you. So I got my lighter going. I'm just gonna put the tips in and then take it out. And I want a little bit more than that, so I'm gonna do it one more time, put it in, take it out. And you guys can see that those tips pointed up and the ends are burned. Let me get that to focus. There you go. You guys can see that those tips burned up. I'm gonna flip it over, do it to the other side. I'm gonna take it in pull it out, let me get that other claw, perfect. You guys can see it ends up being a one claw bigger than the other because we cut them at an angle. And you're gonna get marker all over your hands, but it's okay. And then we have one set of completed claws. So you can cut these in half and you can tie, you'll have a set of claws for your fly. So this will finish one fly. And then the color that you wanna use will just determine on the marker that you use. You can see that we have orange, you can see there that we have orange, blue, and, and red. So use this, it'll save you money. This is what a store-bought claw looks like. This is made by EP. They're really expensive. This is a store-bought version. You can see that ours look really similar and it's gonna save you a lot of money because a small package of these is like $5. 
and a package of ultra chenille is like two dollars so you can make a bunch of these and save a ton of money and they're not that difficult so i hope you all enjoyed the video um and uh, we'll see you guys on the next fly time video